25 years, custom molding design has been designing and building um, tooling for the injection molding industry. We focus on thermoplastic, elastomers, silicone, MIM, and ceramic applications. We also have a division called CMD Express that focuses on low cavitation, quick turn tooling, and machine components. Most of our customers are looking for higher precision and shorter lead times, and the Makino equipment is allowing us to achieve those objectives. We have uh, four Makino machining centers, and they really are kind of addressing three different needs that we had. Uh, we have two PS95s that are used for uh, the work on preheat treat efforts, roughing steel, getting uh, mold cavities and cores uh, prepared for heat treat. Uh, we use those machines for finishing of P20 or softer cavities and cores, those types of things. Uh, we have a V22 graphite that is used for uh, electrode manufacture, getting ready for the sinker EDM process. And then the uh, premier machine that we have is a V33i that is uh, geared 100% towards the hard milling and finishing of uh, cores and cavities for molds. What we continue to do uh, is to try to find unique ways to assist our customers in solving problems. So we're trying to get involved early on in the design phase to help them optimize designs and then to be able to employ some of our latest technologies to come up with quicker lead times, lower costs, improved throughput, and most importantly, higher, closer tolerance components. Uh, some of the more challenging applications that we work on is when we're building our liquid silicone injection molds and when we're working on MIM tooling. Uh, the, the tolerances required for the shutoffs in those tools are very, very tight. Uh, the material will flash. And if we've got a two tenths, two ten thousandths of an inch clearance, uh, we can end up with flash in those situations. So the fit between the A and the B side features has to be incredibly tight. Uh, so that's the, some of the most difficult work we do. Uh, the other piece is in micro uh, machining, when we're working on micro tools using very, very small cutters, uh, we may see uh, 4 thousandths diameter, 6 thousandths diameter end mills. Uh, to do that successfully and have those cutters last the, the length of time machining that we need them to last for the costs that they have, uh, we need very rigid machine tools, we need very accurate spindles, that cutter needs to see a, a very precise chip load uh, at every revolution, or we end up with uh, um, chipping of the tool or breakage of the tool, which creates all kinds of problems. Being able to meet the lead times and the tolerance requirements of our customers is vitally important. Being able to achieve the schedules that we commit to and to deliver on time or early is of the utmost importance. Prior to the acquisition of the PS95 equipment, as an example, uh, we had some older machine tools that have been around for a while. Um, we use those for uh, roughing of steel, getting things ready for heat treat. Uh, because of where in those machines we would see a higher utilization of uh, inserts, for example, fracturing of the inserts. Uh, because the machine tools just were not as accurate. Uh, we were limited. There were, we also build uh, precise machined parts for some of our customers, typically uh, market entry or prototype kinds of products. And we're unable to do that kind of work in those machines. So with the PS95s here, we've got a lot more flexibility. We're able to do that preheat treat work, getting those cores and cavities ready. We can do it in an economical fashion. We can also then get into finishing of P20 cores and cavities. We can get into manufacturing complete components or parts because the accuracy of the machine is there for us. Having equipment like Makino and partners like Productivity allows us to meet the ever-changing needs of our customers. So from the perspective of custom mold and design, we're always looking for ways to solve unique problems. And typically they manifest themselves in the need to provide tooling that's closer tolerance, shorter lead time, higher quality. So by getting involved early on with our customers to assist them with the designs and bring all that to fruition is really what we're focusing on now and into the future.